Hello, everybody. Jim Coyle from Indiana Sports Speed Radio from Indiana Basketball Media Days. And normally you save the best for last, but we've got the best for first. Uh, so how long time? It's been a year since we, we've done this. A lot of changes for you guys. Uh, if if uh, someone who actually needs no introduction, uh, Sydney Parrish, I didn't mention that, but uh, not that I think I need to tell anyone, anyone that. But you come back with another loaded team. This time you guys probably have a target on your back, more so than last year, even though everyone knew that you guys were, were talented. But it's you guys did some things that uh, Indiana hasn't done for a long time, won a Big Ten title, uh, beat some teams uh, that – and, and in, in addition to being ranked in the top five, so a lot of great things, and then you got to come back and do it all over again. Yeah, um, last year was definitely a special year for, year for us and just for Indiana basketball. Um, but yeah, we definitely have a target on our back this year, and I think we've earned that, and um, it's going to be really fun for us to see how we react to that. Um, I think that we were really good all last year, regardless of um, before we won the Big Ten tournament and, or the Big Ten championship and stuff, so um, I think that I think that we know how to play with the target on our back and we can handle that pressure. Uh, Sydney, you guys, uh, you lost uh, Grace Berger, of course, a great piece to the team, no doubt. But you guys add a lot of pieces to this team. As a matter of fact, you are the only Indiana native Indiana Hoosier that is on this roster. Yeah, uh, I was last year too, and I think it's funny, but it's, um, I'm really proud of that. You know, um, the coaches believe in me as a kid from Indiana, so that's really special to me, and I'm excited for them to, you know, recruit some more kids that are from, from the state and for them to come in as well and just kind of represent uh, what Indiana basketball is. Well, you came back and you came to a team that, that has, Terry Moore had, had gotten rolling, and you have been a part of keeping that ball rolling. And like I said, this year, you guys are uh, obviously you'll start the season the top 10 team and uh, maybe beyond, who knows. But it, just knowing that you have all that in front of you, the challenge is going to be great, but it has to be a lot of fun to look forward to that as well. Oh, it's definitely a lot of fun. I mean, people come here to win and um, to be put on that stage being a top 10 team in the country and I think that coach Morin and the staff has done a great job with um, you know keeping us humble and knowing that just because we are on that um, top stage not to settle because there is more to be done and I not comparing uh, the women's to the men's team but the assembly hall has been ma mainly known for men's basketball mm -hmm. But what is it like to play in that arena with the crowds that you got last year that were there for the women's basketball team? Uh, it's definitely really special. Um, I mean, we sold out against Purdue this year, and I think that was really, really cool. 17,000 people coming to watch women's basketball doesn't happen very often. And um, I think that it starts with um, Coach Moore and just our staff and the amazing Bloomington community and all these IU fans, um, you know, putting their heart and soul into uh, women's basketball at this point. And it's, it's really special to see. I had some... Normally, I try not to ask stupid questions, but that's usually difficult for me. But I did write some goofy ones down uh, just because I don't usually do that kind of stuff. But who would play uh, you in a movie? Who would play me in a movie? Yes, who would play your character in any movie? Oh, gosh. Yeah, I told you I threw some, threw yeah, some I crazy ones. I to think there. about this. Yeah. Oh. Um, don't know. Like, am I trying to think of like an actress, or am I? Thinking oh yeah, of, like, yeah. Oh, definitely an actress. Oh, oh, okay. Can I pick Barbie? Absolutely. Very, Barbie. There, there you go. Movies out and everything. Not <laughs> to know. promote that. Perfect. Um, if you could play on any basketball team in the past, men or women, doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. uh, what team and why? Um, I would probably. You know, I want to be on a team that wins, so honestly, I'd probably be on our my team. Or, you know, I would say I'd, I would... You can always say 76 because you know they went undefeated, well, so wish, you're not going to lose that way. I wish I played on the, the two um, years that I wa wasn't here. I wish I was on those teams. Great answer. And I'm sure they wish you were here as well. I, I would hope so. Uh, who is new on this roster that has surprised you? Um... I think our freshmen, I think they've come in and kind of made a big impact already and um, showed, uh, they've just shown that they're really hard workers and that they belong here. And I'm, um, I'm excited to see what 
they have to show on the court when the season starts, and I'm excited for everybody else to see what our freshmen can bring to, to the table this year. Sydney Parrish, Indiana Women's Basketball, thank you very much. Thank you. Good luck this year. Thanks so much. I appreciate it.